The Jaguars at the Colts. The Colts are getting five points. Their total is 45 and a half at time of recording. Jacksonville is looking to build on their AFC South title last season and a playoff victory. We know comeback win over the Chargers. The Colts starting anew with Anthony Richardson. Bear, where are you going here? Well, I, I mentioned a little while ago off the top in the NFL, you need to bet on bad teams. So I am, <laughs> I count me in on the Colts getting five. Look, the Colts. They don't know they stink right now. They, they hope, hope is eternal. Anthony Richardson, we're going to start him, send him out there, see what he can do. And, and maybe his mobility will give uh, Jacksonville's defense, which, which I think Jacksonville's defense has some problems. Uh, I think maybe Richardson will have some success uh, kind of improvising and creating there. He's obviously got a huge arm, you know, Jonathan Taylor. So we'll see how that ultimately affects their offense. But like I said, Remember, last year, Jacksonville started off slow yeah. and, and kind of built up by the end of the year uh, they were a playoff team. But but I think here, no Cam Robinson in the offensive line for Jacksonville against a Colts defense. They, yeah. they're, they're not terrible. I, I think they could give uh, Jacksonville some problems here. Look, I was not expecting to be sitting here week one <laughs> wanting to bet the Colts or betting the Colts, but yeah. – I did bet the Colts that I'm taking the five, and you might, and you might, again, this might be another one uh, like the Bears game, the other, the other one of the other divisional games that we talked about. Like this, this isn't. I don't think this is going to go to four and a half or so. I think this is only going to go five and a half or six. I'm curious where this moves, but this to me feels like a wager solely on Anthony Richardson, right? The, oh God, the, I hope not because I, he, I, mean, I don't think he's the, ready because he's at all. The, but here's the thing: the, Shane Steichen's their their head coach came over from Philly and was with Justin Herbert as a young player quarterback coach in in uh, in Los Angeles. He said, and they have said, we are designing an offense that's RPO based, right? That run pass option that that uses the athletic ability and the big arm of of Richardson. They have said, hey, I mean, if, if he goes ten for twenty one but rushes for hundred yards, we're okay with that. Just limit the turnovers. In week one, you have an advantage because Jacksonville doesn't know what you're going to do mm -hmm. with the RPO game. So I think there's ways for the Colts to get offense by just, not fooling is the wrong word, but just not Jacksonville not knowing the looks they're going to give, and so that gives I think the Colts an advantage in this game. Do you buy into the idea that the Colts cannot win opening weekend, and it's now over a couple no. coaching staffs? No, I, I think that's it. just one of those like circumstantial things, like it just based on how individual games have gone, who they played, where they played. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm as someone who's backing the Colts here. I'm hoping people do buy into that. <laughs> that way, I might be able to jump back in and maybe get a little bit of number on the Colts. Do you ever buy trends like like that in general, or you just stay away from those? Like that? No, no. That that's not something that I will. I mean, that that is a completely random thing that has nothing to do with with with. with and in my opinion, like I I will buy into certain deals with. Against certain coaches yeah. or, or certain teams, or if you want to say in divisional road game, something yeah. like that, I, th I think you can you can buy into believe because the, the the team may change, but the circumstance may stay. But but I think in a one game opening weekend, I, I think that's totally just random and just an anomaly. Well, we're going four for four here with Bears bets with divisional. Dogs, the Bills at the Jets. The Jets are getting two and a half points here. The total is four, six and a half. Not much to explain here. Buffalo, we know how good they've been over the last couple of years. And your New York Jets have Aaron Rodgers and a very talented football team. And their offensive line looks to be fixed, which was a problem in the preseason. Bear, Monday Night Football, what are we doing here? I'm taking the Jets plus the two and a half, and I'll probably have the Jets on the money line as well. Um, look, they beat the Bills. They split with the Bills last year and nearly end. That was getting quarterback play from Zach Wilson and Mike White. <laughs> Uh, both games that last year, Josh Allen struggled. I don't think they scored. I think they scored 20 in one game. And I think the other game was 12. Maybe it was, was it 20 to 12. Maybe it was the other game. I forget. But, but regardless of the scores, the Jets defense did a really good job uh, against Allen. And like I said, the quarterback upgrade from White and Wilson to Aaron Rodgers is one of the biggest like single season quarterback upgrades you could ever make it. It's a massive game for the Jets. And, and again, I didn't, we talked about the, do you bet the divisional dog because it, on a just just because. But if you look at the Jets' schedule, the games they have coming up, this is one of the more winnable games that they have early in the year. Basically, a toss-up game at home uh, Monday night. I, I thought I'd hear a lot more talk about the Jets being a live dog here, but I really haven't. I, I've actually heard more doubt about the Jets than I have people buying in. But it's clear. 
that Rodgers and Garrett Wilson have a rapport. Yeah. It's clear it looks like the offensive line now, now will be is a little bit better uh, defensively. I, I think they're only going to be uh, they'll, they'll be at least as good as they were last year. And uh, I am I am uh, worriedly high on the jo- <laughs> on the Jets this year because I am setting myself up for disappointment and failure. Like again, the number being less than a field goal yeah. tells me that the odds makers are fine with Bill's money. So I will take the uh, the two and a half point here, dog with the Jets, and I have taken it already, and I will uh, I'll probably take the Jets in the money line as well. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds, and let's celebrate all of our wins together.